Hi guys, I'm Vaishali and today I'm going to discuss a very important and frequently asked question which is graphs for Rieger, Liber and Algo Mortis in Forensic Medicine. So guys, let's begin. As you can see, I've written the first word of each of the three things, A, R and L. And from these are we going to derive how the graphs look. So, um, this is A and the graph for algal will be like this. Yes, it's that easy. The graph for algal mortis is like this. I have written R here but I have to make a small change and make it horizontal. This is our R now and our graph for Riger will look like this. Yes, it's again that easy. The graph for Riger looks like this. We'll do the same thing with Liber and uh, change it into horizontal position. And this is the graph for Liber Mortis. So the graph for Liber Mortis looks like this. I would want to put all of these in one graph and um, let's see how that looks. So this is our Algar Mortis. This is Rigor Mortis. And this is Liber Mortis. I hope you like the video. Please like, share and subscribe if you like the channel. Thank you.